All right, hello everyone. So I finally got this ship to a point to where I think other people can uh, use it as well. And so I wanted to put this video together real quick, just to uh, honestly, just to showcase it. So it's nothing special. Um, the meaning behind the word Drake is that it's a Star Citizen throwback. So if you are familiar with Star Citizen, you'll know kind of what Drake's about. But anyways, it's a very functional ship. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little demonstration here. So I'm going to extend the mining arms. You can see that the bays, they open up. Something that you'll notice is that they, they do take some time, and that's because there's a lot of safety features and mechanisms in place. So uh, there's a lot of uh, YOLO error correction and error handling that I had to account for in making all of this stuff work. So they are a bit slow in getting out, but that is for safety. So, um, but anyways, after they fully actuate out. If I get a little closer, you can see the, the lights that I have on there. Let's see kind of the lights that are going on. And wait for it. There we go. Okay. So now they're in position. We can actually do something with them. I'm going to go ahead and mine this rod. So I'm going to use the approach. So this is hands off. Ship is moving closer. And I have it set so that way the approach will get you a little bit closer. So that way as you're approaching, you can actually start the mining process. Now, something that I haven't quite got ironed out entirely is the uh, the wiggle functionality to have the lasers oscillate, um, and that's part of the kind of initialization. Oh, I've got my, my limiter set way down, so that was taking forever to speed this up. And... Oh, by the way, this is a... There you go. It's a big one. So, anyways, I'll back this up. There's a turtle mode functionality as well. Turn it on. ships out there that are, you know, destroying T-10 rocks in 30 seconds or whatnot, but this is a very functional ship. 680 crates, uh, you know, six mining lasers. Uh, only two are always enabled, but if you don't need these other four, you can enable them. But this ship has worked really well for me. Um, this is the latest iteration on it, where I added the robotic arms to have it retract and extend, and I reduced the cargo crates from 696 to uh, 680 in network. But honestly, with the range of this thing, I'm out here as on five mining, it, it's, it's really nice. So, I don't know. The ship is it's great, it works for me. It's not the prettiest thing out there, and it's a great technology. up like this so that way 
as the lasers converge, you kind of get a lot of coverage uh, horizontally. While they're retracting, I'll just kind of show the rest here. So we've got interior lights, we've got exterior lights, which are on the outside for that Fast and the Furious effect. And let's see what else. Um, I have these buttons here. They'll actually tell you what generator. Uh, if you couldn't see the, the fuel rods. Um, consumption rate right here anyways. Uh, this will tell you what fuel rod is low. So if I wanted to so, so there you go. You can see it right there. Lots of wasted space in here for people that are doing this professionally, <laughs> but um, lots of enhancers. Yeah, yeah, good stuff there. Probably lots of money wasted as well. But uh, the nice thing about this ship is the solar panels. When they work, okay, I say when they work, um, and that's because right now solar panels are buggy. When I'm out here zone five mining, these solar panels they're hit or miss. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Like right now, you can see the light, I turn my light off, you can see it hitting the side of the ship or even underneath, and we just don't get any light at all. There's there's nothing on the solar panels. Um, but if I go out to the moon for whatever reason, or if I go back in from zone five to, I don't know, zone two or whatnot, closer to origin, then I start getting solar again. And uh, I've seen it peak up to 17,000. So, um, yeah, so when they do fix that, uh, but I don't know. This is, a, it's a great ship. It works for me. Um, you know, all of this YOLO, uh, this is very painful to write, but it's, it's, a, it's a good ship. Um, the, uh, let's see, the asteroid uh, avoidance system, it works as well. So, actually, already too close for the uh there that it's you know approaching how fast you're approaching scan it uh Karazin. okay so and here's the thing this is a smaller rock i don't necessarily want to get those other four mining lasers out because i i don't need it so i'm just gonna mine them like this These 
these work fine for stuff like this. And actually, this was all I had on the first iteration of this shit. Um, and they constantly moved. You couldn't control it at all. And it just bugged the poop out of me. So I finally just turned that functionality off, made it fixed, and was like, I'll just use this shit. It's not that bad. <laughs> so, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, this was the little ad hoc video that I just put together. Let's see, I can turn the, uh, the generators off. The way you can save. By the way, I have this whole eco. Um, this isn't just using the standard. Well, it is using the standard um, uh, fuel rate uh, uh, limit the efficiency, efficiency script that everyone's using out there, except I granularly refined it based off of stages of the battery percent, so that way it's more controlled. Um, and I have refilled another ship since I flew out here from Origin, uh, and you can see my propellant is... I filled up another ship, and I left at about 85%, so that was... Um, I'm not going to say the exact, but it's like 300 kilometers parallel from origin, and then like another uh, 200 up and over, and then another, you know, 800 out, and another 300 down, 800 to 1,000 out, and then another 300 down. So collectively, this entire trip right now, I've probably gone over 1,500 kilometers. It's pretty easy to say. And you can see that I barely even touched my fuel rods or the propellant as well. So, um, but anyways, yeah, the ship, it works for me. It's not as fancy as some of the other ones that are out there. And uh, like the Knut is one of the, the honestly, the, the great, the, to, to me personally, the best looking ship out there right now. It's got the right amount of cargo. It's got, uh, I believe he's got another variant with a uh, warp drive in it as well, or a fast travel core. But this ship, I mean, it does what I need it to do. And it just doesn't look as pretty as some of those other ones that are out there. So, um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys like this video and it kind of showcases the ship here. And uh, yeah, know what you guys think or if you have any questions.